Hello? Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> okay. Why the fuck is my Streamlabs resetting my shit? <laughs> That's annoying as hell. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check that one off stream. Okay. Well I just had some, you know, had some nice music playing for you guys. I guess you didn't hear it. Shut up, Brutus. Fucking troll, dude. You guys, dude, think you can trick me? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice, can't get fooled again. <laughs> you guys... You guys aren't in unison. You have to talk about this offline. Oh boy. What a night, what a night. Well, yes. I need some I need some feedback. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I just burned my lip. <laughs> Dude. Come on. You guys can't say that didn't make you laugh. You can hear me. You can hear me. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Dude. Alright, I'm ignoring you guys now. I'm actually ignoring you now. Let's open up the old... Options menu? See, that was funny though. Dude, I actually burnt my lip, you guys. Fucking hurt. Oh, hello over on YouTube. I never know how to say your name. Gia. Gia, what's up? I forgot. We're streaming on YouTube again. Back to it. My headset wait you actually couldn't hear me was bruce being serious the whole time on the day you thought we were trolling but we weren't dude i was so convinced you guys are trolling that was so bad like i literally for a full five minutes i was like i'm not falling for this shit, dude i've seen it happen to too many streamers their chat all gang up on them Yeah, I know. Now I know you weren't trolling. <laughs> Fucking crazy, right? Yo, you guys. Okay. I'm still working on the 24 hour video. Wait, let me see if I can pull something up real quick. Oh, yes, I found it.
I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I compiled, I found a bunch of clips of me complaining. We're going to have a little sad section. Yo, ugh, it sucks. I haven't done this with data before. We have to save a dictionary, effectively. Yeah, that's kind of ass. This just sucks though right now. Damn, I don't know how to do this. I was getting super demotivated, and at this point, I actually almost quit. I couldn't get past this problem, but then one man in the chat reminded me of a very important superpower I was saving for the right moment. Chains? I think it makes me better at coding. Let's do it. So I put on the shades, and instantly I felt all of my coding powers return to me, and we- <laughs> Okay. That's, that's just the latest part I worked on. Gia. Yo, bro, question. What's up? Dude, do you guys have any idea how long it took me to track down those fucking clips? Because I lost all my clips on YouTube. God. It's terrible. I'm like... I'm transforming into Colin. This is going to be a different type of video for sure. We'll see how it goes. Why did you name your channel Spader to Bomb? You guys want to know the true answer? Wait, okay, before before I give it away, you guys have to guess. I, I gotta hear some guesses. Sorry if you put hangers or RC cars in the video. Alright, you actually want to know, dude. No, I, I gotta get some guesses, dude. What do you guys think? Why do you guys think I named it Spader? I guess as you're known for your really nasty farts. What the fuck? What the fuck does that have to do with Spader? Bombs? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, where is the spader part come from? Your name? No, I'm not named Spader. I'd be down for that name though. I'd take that name. I wish my real life name was Spader. You like digging holes? <laughs> there, there comes the spade. No, okay, you guys, you actually want to know? From these books. <laughs> it's from the Pendragon series. There's a dude named Spader. And I thought he's the bomb. Spader to bomb. Spader to bomb was born. <laughs> long, long ago. Probably somewhere around sixth grade. Fifth or sixth grade. And then I created my RuneScape account and I named it Spader to bomb. And ever since that day when I was about 12 years old, I never ever changed my gamer tag. Spader to bomb, RuneScape. Spader to bomb, 99 RuneCrafting, 15 years ago, boys. <laughs> Why is there just hardcore ass music to this? Oh, 
<laughs> this song, dude. We're gonna get copyrighted. Look, I had a crew with me, dude. I had a fucking crew. Had Dragon heard the name before somewhere? I mean, they're they're huge books for sure. They're massive. But they're like for like teenagers. <laughs> Should change your name to Mufasa. Mufasa would be sick, honestly. I'd, I'd take that name. I don't know who Brian James is. This is not... This is not me, you guys. I, I don't know who Brian James is. But I guess he took a video and posted it. Spared a bomb. What do we what do we do in this video? Oh we go. <laughs> Unregistered screen recorder, dude. This is the shit you had to use back in back in the day, dude, 15 years ago. They didn't have fucking stream labs back then. Look at this just excellent quality. Alright, you guys, that's enough. Let's get back to uh, to biz. How old was that? Fifteen years ago? Is that your question? You know, somewhere around that age, fifteen years. I don't know what RuneScape is. 2012 or something? No. No, I was not 12. 15, 16. So don't know what RuneScape is. RuneScape? It's just fucking... Just an MMORPG. I know, I am old. I'm an old boomer, you guys. Bro, I was here in this man used to play old school RuneScape. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I was just streaming RuneScape for a little bit, like like a year ago. Bro, something different in my YouTube name? What the fuck? Bro, bro switched some letters. This was obsessed with it. I really thought it was just gardening game for the longest time, but she was like six years older than me. Wait, you had an ex that's six years older than you, Tech Support? This man's a cougar hunter. That's- wait, that's crazy. <laughs> wait, this is so funny to me. You had an ex that was six years older, and not only that, but she played RuneScape. <laughs> I'm only laughing because it's like... It's like such an older gamer thing to do. It's like if I was like dating a cougar or something and I went back to her house and then... She like started spinning like a record player, you know? If he's 50, six years isn't much. Text force 27. <laughs> this man is a cougar hunter, I'm telling you. Respect, though, respect. I like that. Brutus did too? Alright, what's the highest highest he dated up? Okay, you guys, we're gonna get we're officially getting absolutely nothing done tonight, just so you guys know.
You dated a 35 year old when you're 20? <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. No, Brutus is not 23. I don't actually know how old Brutus is. I'm pretty sure he's told me, but I forgot. There it is. Old as shit. Okay, how are we doing on this? How, how are we liking this UI, you guys? Any, should, we, should we actually start doing a little game dev anybody have any uh any thoughts any advice i mean i'm trying to think of like how can we make this a little bit better but i don't want to perfect it too much so i just i just want to get y'all's opinion if you guys think anything oh brutus brutus did say we should make the text a little thicker so let's see how we like that We'll go to like a bold. How does a bold look there? Like that? That looks a little better, I think. Oh. Grab it all inside of her. Shut up, man. Stop. I just I don't know what to put down in this corner here. So I wanna I wanna have like um your current fishing level like progress here somewhere. I just don't know how to display it best. Um oh yeah, somebody also said playtime. I don't I don't really know like I don't know where to put these things, but I'll just put it in here. Playtime. I suppose... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we do this corner. Oh shit, new uh new laptop coming in. Oh my god, Reagan. Reagan has redeemed. Okay, before we actually do anything, we gotta do Reagan's quiz. First I have a question. Alright, what? I was wondering if we should have a border around these. Let's try a little border here. Shit, I already did that. Okay. 
Gotta stay organized, man. Too too easy to get unorganized in projects. Then you lose it all. Have we done best movie of all time yet? Yeah, I think we have. Pretty yeah, remember I did Avatar? Yeah, we need something new. You have discrete fishing levels too with the names of fish. Wait, 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 sorry, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Tech support, what do you mean by discrete fishing levels? Like you're saying like like your your shark fishing level? Like have each each for each fish? Because I'm actually that's what I'm planning on doing. And I actually I I don't know where that information is gonna be stored, probably in collection log. But basically the idea what you meant is a lot more simplistic. Oh, okay. Well, this is my idea. Basically, so in this game, right, there's different rarities of each fish. And, like, as you get your fishing level up for a particular fish, you're going to have each each fish has a fishing level, too. So, like, the more of, the, of them you fish, it goes up in level. And as you get higher and higher in level, you have a higher chance of getting a rarer fish. So that's going to have that's going to be how that works. And then the general player fishing level like works like that but for all fish. I mean yeah, we done best fast food. Come on, Reagan, come on. The player stats is currently selected. Yeah. Yeah, actually I don't know if this is how it should look. Should should selected be dark or should selected be light and everything else is dark? I think everything else should be dark, huh? How does it how does it work? Add UI. So So yeah, for these ones it's brighter. I almost I'm wondering like should it should it do this? You know what I'm saying? Like if it's selected, should it actually like merge with the front menu? So it looks like this is like in front and this is in the back. You like that? Could do that. We could like scale it up. That work or is that gonna be too big? Maybe if we make them all a little taller. I don't know. Maybe like make it a little bigger. I don't know. You think it still needs a highlight? Let's see. What what kind of highlight? Here wait, let's sorry, let's do it for um Let's do it for this one, because it's on the left. So that's what it would look like right now. But then like all of these would be like... Darker, right? I feel like maybe even darker than that, it's like not very noticeable. It 
So what about this? How? Maybe dim the border too, like this. You think like a border highlight. Um, okay, let's play around with that. Alpha, that's a good thought. Let's let's see what alpha looks like. Let's say we make it like sixty. Uh, I feel like alpha looks weird. Yeah, it's a good thought though. Is it because it's already dimmer? Um, maybe. Oh, let's see. Here's like, let's do like a light. Uh, yeah, I feel like it doesn't fit the UI style of the menu. Having a VC through. No, we have not done superheroes. Maybe maybe it's just the highlight is the way to go. Just let's look at it like a Well like do you think like a glow? Try right, glow. Uh glow is gonna be weird. Glow. I don't think glow is going to work because it's going to not let it blend. Um, Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge superhero person. There's a few I like though. Oh yeah, you should watch the Batman movies, like I don't like superhero movies at all, but like the Yeah, the Batman ones, the Christopher Nolan ones are fucking super good. No, we haven't done that, Reagan. Yeah. Dark Knight Hey Brutus. Yeah, Dark Knight is straight up. Top, it's easily a top five movie of all time for me. The Dark Knight, yeah. I also really like the first one. The, the third one I didn't like overall as much. The first one is like a really good origin story though. It's kind of slower paced, but it's a really good origin story. And then the Dark Knight is just the capstone on those first two. It's so fucking good. Alright, here we go. Oh man. Okay, we'll do round of 64, but I'm gonna go really fast on the first ones. So just think of this as a uh oh, Batman begins. We're just talking about it, dude. Never watched this one. But I just don't want to miss any good ones, you know? That's why I always want to do the round of 64. Thor, dude. Wait, I guess I like Agents of Shield. Nah, dude, Thor. 
Oh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. You know, is that the most recent one? Oh, wait, no, no, you're talking about the animation one. I watched that one. Dude, that one was actually really good. I fucking love that one. Someone, like, sat me down and made me watch it, and I was, like, really not hyped about it at all. But then after I watched it, I was like, okay, that was worth it. Yeah. Into the Spider-Verse is a really good movie. It's like a, they have like tune shading. Oh, they're coming out with a new one? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I don't know what these are. X-Men though. Avengers Endgame. Oh, this is like movie, okay. Origin stories begin in Gotham? What is this? Sounds actually kind of cool. Morbius. I never watched Morbius, but I'll, I'll take it. It's Morbin time. Alphabet Commission with Gordon, great show. Ooh, that sounds cool. Wait, is this... Is it the same actor or no? Because I, I really like that actor. Hellboy or my super ex? No? Aw, oh, damn. That one got memed real hard. The one, <laughs> Morbius? Oh, young Gordon. Okay, okay. I'd watch that. Supergirl. <laughs> I don't know half these movies, dude. Peacemaker. Like, I haven't watched Peacemaker. I just don't watch a lot of these. Wolverine, though. That's... I definitely... I watched that one. Justice League? I watched some of Justice League, but I didn't finish it. Oh wait, Supergirl got memed hard? Is that what you're saying? Shang-Chi? Wait, wait, wait. Since we're on this shit though, you guys... Have you guys, um... Have you guys watched Altered Carbon? Anybody watch Altered Carbon? Dude. I fucking love this show. How'd you like it, Brutus? I, dude, I thought Joe Kinnaman was... I Okay, I hate I hated uh, second season, honestly. I didn't really like second season. But the first the first season was an all-time season for me. Like, I fucking loved season one. And Joe, Joel Kinnaman was such a beast, dude. He's just like... He's like an ultimate James Bond-esque character. Alright, anyways... They can make you squeamish. It's about like, it's like the premise is that you can like transfer your consciousness into somebody else's body. It's like far in the future, dystopian type shit. Birds of Prey. Man, what? So many movies I haven't watched. Maybe round two will be better? I don't know. Logan? Oh, Umbrella Academy. All but Infinity War? Do I actually love Umbrella Academy? <laughs> I'm taking that one. Sorry. Sorry, Avengers fans. Get shit on. Spider-Man 2 or Watchmen? I think I like Watchmen better. Oh, close call. I almost picked Spider-Man. Nah, Watchmen's better for sure. Watchmen's good. 
This Torchu's Ninja? <laughs> what is this, dude? Okay, we'll go Aquaman. Even though I haven't seen it. The Dark Knight Rises? Okay, we'll take it. Ghost Rider. Captain America. Wait, is this like the original one? No, dude, Ghost Ghost Rider. Wait, what? What did I do? Aquaman over WandaVision? Dude, I can't remember WandaVision. Did I watch that? Oh, Deadpool. I felt like I could have been making a mistake, but I didn't remember WandaVision. Doom Patrol. What are these movies, man? Get Superman out of here, man. Is there a more bland superhero than Superman? Question. Okay, we're in round two. <laughs> Supergirl versus Logan. All right, for the memes. Superman being bland is what makes him great. Is that is that like is is that the thing? I never understood that. Batman Begins. Umbrella Academy. <laughs> Thor, love it, dude. I haven't seen this, but I kind of want to. Okay, we'll we'll keep that Superman in. Dark Knight Rises. Deadpool. Black Panther versus Avengers Endgame. All right, we'll go Avengers. For Reagan, I know Reagan just loves Avengers. Am I wrong, or am I right? Bro, love from India. What's up, Kaif? We're just we're just chilling out right now, doing a little uh, you woo foo foo quiz on best superhero movies of all time. We'll be back to the game dev in five minutes or so. I think I liked Wolverine. I mean, in general, I like like the X-Men and Wolverine shit, so I'm going to take that. But I don't think I watched that movie in particular. Justice League. Watchmen. Oh my god. What is this? I don't know why is it, why is it this one? I don't know this one. I don't really like Hellboy though. We'll take Ninja Turtles. I'm just gonna pretend this is like general Ninja Turtles. Aquaman versus Ghost Rider, dude. I think we got Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage. We got two Ghost Riders in here now. Iron Man versus Morbius. It's Morbin time. JK. Oh, you watched Love and Thunder? Still liked it? It is just general, but the title. Yeah, like, why but why is the title in French? Why was it Torches Ninja instead of Ninja? <laughs> You're a little slow here, Reagan. Uh, Watchmen? Oh. We're in the round of 16. Round 3. I'm gonna go... Oh. This is a pretty hard one. But I like Watchmen, honestly. Dead... Oh, I like Deadpool more than Avengers. Reagan, are you a are you an Avengers fan? Thor, Love and Thunder, or Wolverine? 
I'm keeping Thor in the game, dude. Thor is in the game. <laughs> Still haven't watched the movie, though. Oh, uh, well, I haven't watched this, so I have to take Umbrella Academy. You haven't watched Avengers? No Spider-Verse? Honestly, dude, disappointing. Dark Knight Rises or Justice League? Actually, maybe I should have taken Justice League there. Oh, we gotta go with Nicolas Cage, dude. Ghost Rider Showdown. Man of Steel or Supergirl? Supergirl, dude. Oh, Deadpool or Umbrella Cat? We gotta go Deadpool there. That's a pretty easy one. Oh, shit. We're, like, getting down to it, huh? Wait, do we have two Supergirls in here? I'm so confused. Or was that the end of the other one? Oh, that was the end of the other round. Okay, we'll take Watchmen. Batman Begins. Okay, I'm just saying Ghost Rider because... Well, actually, I don't really like the third one anyways. Oh! Oh, this is, this is the this is the hardest one so far. I go with Indian superiors, but I don't remember what they're called. This quiz is breaking my heart. Wait, which one? Which one did I just break your heart with? We have we have a Batman in here. I chose it because we didn't have a Batman. Or we already had a Batman. Got Deadpool. Watchmen is better. <laughs> Object. Oh no. Brutus. Batman begins. Alright. All right, you guys have one minute. Cast your vote. But I'm, I'm still picking what I think. Thirty seconds. <laughs> You're picking what you think was the pull for. <laughs> I don't know. See what you guys think. I gotta know. It's me, me versus chat or me with chat. <laughs> Rig elections. No, nobody voted with me, dude. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight. See, uh, we didn't get the Dark Knight, man. No way, dude. Dark Knight's the highest rated superhero movie. Spider- Dude, look! Spider-Verse. Number two. I haven't tried to get all these in because I did the round of 64. That's what I was trying to prevent, dude. Just fucking, we didn't have the top two. We literally, how many are there? Oh, 256? Okay. Shit. 
No, Spider-Verse is in the pool of choices, but I only did... I only did round of 64, and there's 256 options. So it just wasn't in. It wasn't in the pool. It wasn't a choice. Avengers Endgame, okay. Spider-Man 2, see, this is my shit. This is the one I remember. We didn't get that one either. I like Infinity War more than Endgame. The Boys. I haven't watched The Boys. Oh, dude. Ping Pong. Batman Begins, number nine. Where's Deadpool? Really? The Joker is this high? That was such like a serious movie. Watchmen, number 14. All right. Yeah, Heath Letters just, he was just, he was Joker for me. I feel like that's honestly part of why I didn't enjoy the Joker movie as much. Like, even though Joaquin, like, Phoenix, I mean, he did a pretty good job for the assignment. Like, it just, it wasn't Heath Letter. Why are there so many weird questions? There's a lot of really weird ones. This incredible. <laughs> Man, Tech Sport hasn't seen Dark Knight. You gotta watch Dark Knight, dude. Fucking. Like one of those movies that just sh shakes you, dude. You feel shook after. Okay, we're playing around with the UI a little more. Maybe if it's, um, oh, it's getting kind of stretched out now, but if we like made it a little taller. UI, UI, UI is important. Just trying to think of, uh, What are some effects we could do? I feel like overall it looks pretty good. Oh, we could totally change the color, like totally change it. Reagan, yeah, you should make one. That's what you should do for the next one. It's not really like, these aren't game menus, dude. These are like website menus. We search for tabs. Ew. Although this one has like a little outline around it. Some ugly UI out there, man.
Should I make it about? What do you guys think Reagan should make the quiz about? Dude, there's a quiz club. Dude, people think they're fucking... They're trivia nights. Real seriously, man. I've always been terrible at that shit. This is more of like what tech support was trying to get at, like a... Kind of a transparent... Transparent tabs aren't selective. Jesus. It's a complicated looking menu. I don't know. I don't think it's... I mean, I could add in like a little like manual highlight just to see what it looks like. Then it doesn't really blend with this. I almost think maybe maybe it would be like an interior menu, like an interior highlight. And see what it looks like. better try navy blue or turquoise not really i don't really think that looks better oh you're just saying make the outline navy blue or turquoise okay Kind of looks weird when you combine it like this. The problem is I can't really do this super easily. Well, you know, I think this is just it. This doesn't look bad. Can't really find any way to make this better. Although, I f I do feel like it would be nice if this wasn't like oddly on the side.
to do it. Going in. Okay, but what's gonna have to happen is these are gonna have to be like if we do it this way then these have to be behind this menu and they have to come in front so that's gonna be annoying to set up laptops here oh boy all right dude good luck Good luck with that beefy Mac that you're gonna get. You need it. Wait, what is this? How I would defeat the immortals now. So I'm sure you're talking about that concept that you shot up your body regarding Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll watch that later. I know what that's about though. Cause that's the wait is it is it the thing where like you get paid a million dollars but there's a snail like chasing you or like you're immortal except for there's a snail that's always chasing you if it touches you you die okay okay yeah <laughs> an age old question i don't know dude you guys i can't make it better but also, at the same time, I don't think it's bad, so I think it's time to just accept it. Um, I want to try something out though with the backgrounds here, which is I want to try to giving, I want to try giving these a little outline. Oh, except it's weird how this works. I have to change the fill to be 20. And then we give it a stroke. So let's choose. Let's get our colors in here. Wait, what? What just happened? Hold up. Go back, go back. Okay. Stroke. I want it to be this dark color. That's too much, right? Like, that's just way too much. So... Okay. 
Could have this though, this type of border. I feel like that looks pretty good. There's audio this time. I know, dude. Aren't you proud of me? Oh my God, FCS? FCS, dude. Are you done with your vacation yet or what? Not much, which kind of blows. Is that what you're doing? Just doing nothing, traveling and vacationing? Yeah, dude. I can only vacation for so long. Emmy Curry. Yo, Emmy. Emmy, 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 Emmy. I need you to do a little uh, follow age. See, what is this? Yo, Gary Reagan has been. Emmy has. Oh my god, wait. Shit, that's a lot of messages. Um. Emmy has been following for five years and four days. There it is, dude. I told you, man. I knew. I remembered a few days ago. I was like, yo, where is Emmy at? I'm pretty sure we're about to celebrate five years. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm pretty sure Emmy is the longest follower that is still like still comes around. Reagan's at one year, six months, year and a half. Regs? Hell yeah. I'm the youngest here in terms of followage. What are you, FCS? I don't know. Two months. Yo, two months. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Yeah, what's your rank, FCS? That's what I want to know. Let's get a little exclamation rank. How long have you been streaming? Like, not today, but in general? Dude, I don't even know, man. Should we check? Should we check when my first stream ever was? Hey, wait. You guys want to see how much money I've made ever on Twitch? <laughs> We could see how much money I've I've made of all time. And then we could also see how many hours I've streamed and then see how much money I'm getting paid per hour. What do you guys think about that? Ranks and Reagan said number five. FCS. Oh, FCS is top hundred though, that's pretty solid. We'll take that. Even just after two months. It's because FCS is active, dude. You're active in the chat when you're here. Being active helps with the rank points. We just got 50 inks. How much? Alright, let's check it, you guys. Ready? Um Earnings. <laughs> Alright, I'm at a solid eleven bucks this month. It's gonna that'll pay for like one beer. Cool. Um Alright, we're gonna have to go all the way back. All the way, all the way, all the way back. How long does it go back? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay, it's telling me that sometime in... Oddly... December 31st. 
was my first day ever. That's actually a really random ass date to stream. Alright, you guys ready? Unless that's when I created my Twitch. Ooh, 567 net earnings? What did I not see? Year number seven? Is that what it actually said? Oh shit, Brutus. Brutus is up to number seven? That's fucking insane. Holy shit. Jesus. Getting up there, man. Alright, $567, dude. That's my... Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm streamed. <laughs> that is a lot of hours streamed. Close my tabs. Dude, this is what happens when I'm fucking... Oh, see, but this then you just made me close a tab where I would listen to music. Ah, oh, shit. Let me get the music back. Fucking Emmy, dude. Trying to make me close all my tabs. Shit, it's the snail, dude. Alright, you guys ready? 5, 67, 34, divided by 31, 53. Alright, I'm earning approximately 18 cents per hour. It's a <laughs> pretty solid wage. You're welcome, Twitch, for all the content. That's what I do, you guys. I stream for 18 cents an hour. <laughs> Anybody got a prime, dude? <laughs> oh, man. Do you remember how we met? I thought it was just like... Like, it was in Fortnite, right? Wasn't it just, like, in a Fortnite game? Or am I remembering wrong? 18 cents an hour is middle class in some countries? That's fucking crazy. I mean, that's true, though, right? How many hours do you work in a year? 40? Like, like I'm talking about normal United States. You work, like, what? Probably have, like, three weeks off or some shit, so it's, like, 49... Times 40. Oops. 2,000 hours in a year. So, yeah. yeah. Don't they say, like, people, like, don't even earn, like, $500 in a year in, in third world countries? Crazy. We fought in a public match in Tilton, and we both missed like a hundred shots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is that is ringing a bell. I can't remember that now. Shit, did I, did I abandon people on YouTube? I'm sorry, you guys. Who's on YouTube? Steve's a placeholder, right? Yeah. Yeah, Steve is a placeholder. I, I abandoned my YouTube people. Point zero zero three dollars. I make less than point zero zero three dollars per minute. Oh, oh, that's per minute. <laughs> point, point three cents. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. Makes me not want to stream.
Oh no, I just put that in the bottom banner. Too much shit everywhere. I was wondering if we should make it like this. Oh, uh, but then, uh, that would... I don't know. We either do it like that, or we can make it like this. I feel like this is inconsistent with this, though, right? Goes into negative scientific notation. Sick, dude. This new job got me working 12, 14 hours a day, bro, but the money is so good. Hey, dude, sometimes you gotta grind it out in life, you know? So, feels like a, a good thing for you, at least for the moment. How, uh, like, is that, like, long term shit, though? Like, or do you think you're just gonna be working that much for, like, a little bit? Here's the boost you go for that pay wage. I make zero cents a minute. Doing a. Are you wait? Are you a um? What's it called? What's it called when you get like monetized on Twitch? I can't remember now, dude. It's not partner. Maybe another month. Oh, you're good then. Yeah, dude. So you're just grinding it out. You got that shit. Yeah, you know what? I don't like this. I think what we want is, um, we're gonna do a, like, little, little guy like this. No stroke. Make this 10. Oh, what is this one? I thought it was 10, maybe not. Oh, that's 20. Okay, 20. Make this 10. Oh, wait, this is like 20, huh? Let's just see how this looks. Come in here and we will slice this guy up. Grass friends. That looks more consistent now, I think. I like that. Gotta get some sleep, bro. Damn, another 14 hours? Alright, Emmy, dude. Five fucking years, bro. Still coming. Just remember, remember this. You're the you're the uh the longest standing returner to the stream. So don't ever stop. Good night, Emmy. Five years nuts. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna port. Well, okay, we need, we just need to figure out this real quick. We need to figure out these tabs. Cause I want to have the working tab system in the UI in the game, but I don't want to like over, I don't want to do all this shit yet because it's, it might change depending on the scope of the game. So I don't want to put all this stuff in, but I will at least put like the backgrounds in and the tabs in so that we can switch between menus and fuck around. Alex says you make 4.99 plus E minus 5. 
five, five basically 4.99 minus five dollars per second sick it's fucking awesome that is just great isn't it Oh shit, man. Tabs. Yeah, let's get all these guys. Grouped up. Oh, it is in quests already. Okay. What is like. Collection is not in something. Collection should go up here with these. Twelve. Oh, this is like fishing. Progress. Progress. What is this? That goes in there. Okay, good. Okay, we got left, like left sidebar or some shit. There we go, we're feeling a little more collected here. Okay, this goes in tabs. Tabs. Both of these go in tabs. Where are all these two? Oh, this is like bottom. Bottom banner. Okay, that's bottom banner, that's left side, Ooh. except that makes, bring this to the bottom there, okay, this is going to go in having a half penny dude i know that's where i'm at um wait wasn't i gonna do something else on twitch i thought i was gonna do something else in like in terms of like total oh my first day that's what we were doing this for time streamed here we go yeah yeah you guys can see my first time streamed ever Okay, so I don't think I streamed on December 31st, but that's when I created my Twitch account. December 31st, 2016, seven years ago. Almost seven years ago when I created my Twitch account. It's kind of hard to see, so we have to like, like go way back. I only streamed a little bit. What did I stream way back then? I think this is before Fortnite. I think this is when Fortnite was out. 2017? Anyways, my first day that I ever streamed was January 9th, 2017. January 29th. Uh, 
pretty insane. Nice to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Wait, we lost our make sure these uh rectangles are below. There we go. Hey, hey. It's placeholder. Placeholder. <clears throat> placeholder Steve? I can call him placeholder Steve. So yeah, the basically the last thing that we need to work out is I think we basically need to remake these. I'm trying to think if there's a way to not do this, but I can't think of any way. I think they just have to be behind and then in front. It also makes it easy because then you can adjust the height if you do it that way. So I think that's the way I'm going to do it. So yeah, let's delete this. I'm gonna create this with edge of plane. Oh, you know what we should do? <laughs> we should just mask this shit off. This is the smart way to do it. Mask the bottom bottom part out. It's never gonna need to be taller than that. But I do think these tabs maybe wanna be up a little bit more, but yeah, basically if we instead do it like this where we add a mask, and then I can just like cut it off down here and fill then we don't see it but it's still there so then we can adjust it later on the fly oh but then this makes it a little annoying with the um the edge that's too tall What's my rank? I'm rank zero. <laughs> oh shit. I'm level one, you guys. Rank 10,000, bro. You jeez. Okay, maybe that's a little too tall. this maybe also do you think do you think it should be taller when it's selected hmm 
Yeah? Okay. I have to think about how are we going to do that then. Yeah, like this, right? Like that's a little taller. Why is this color different? How are we going to do this, dude? Am I going to do a sprite swap, or... I think I have to do a sprite swap if I'm going to do it like this. But then not... Not only... Mm, maybe I can work it out so I don't have to actually change the position. It'd be nice if I could just sprite swap and not change the position. I think I can do that. I'm also trying to make it so I don't have to... ...change the position in the hierarchy, like what order it's drawn in. That'd be nice, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, so if I make it like this... We'll see if I can work it work it that way. I'm just gonna have to like try it. So I'm just gonna keep this for now. I think this is it. Let's start exporting shit and let's get into Unity. It's been a while, man. It's been in UI land for some time. Okay, what are we gonna have to ex export? It's so many things to export. I'm not gonna do this stuff though. This is just gonna be a blank canvas over here. Um, I might put this stuff down here though, because I like this. I feel like this is finalized. Like I'm definitely gonna have this down here. It's a nice little indicator. So I will export all that. I'm going to export. We have to export this background and this background. We'll try exporting just one, like just this. Oh, it's gonna have to flip it though. We'll just try exporting one and see if it works. But no big deal if it doesn't. Um, I'm also gonna try just using one of these backgrounds and then nine slice it. I don't know if you I. Toolkit works with nine slices yet. I think I tried this before and it works, but it's a little sketchy. Will there be a close button? Uh, I don't think so. I could, but this is what I was going to do. I'll tell you, I'll show you what I was going to do. We should, we should probably put this also in here. I was going to have something like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it will be a skate a skateboarding at least. Oh no. Some of those things are locked, I guess. You could do a keybind thing, but some people prefer clicking. Yeah, like it's gonna be a keybind to get to this menu. But right, yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to having an X up here in this type of menu. I have a different menu where I don't think it works as well. So right, this is my This is my options menu. And I don't think putting an X in here works quite as well. Maybe I Maybe I could make like a big one that's like a, almost a signpost. But I think it's valid to ask the question, should this menu, even if this menu doesn't have it, should this menu have it? Because this is more of a plain menu and I think an X works a little better. What do you think? Should we try it real quick? I think I would just put it here, like a little circle X with the same color. Just for doing it really quick right now, I can just do a normal X. What about this? Let's make it like a white color. Oh, damn, I thought that would look better. Something like that. Just make the border. Zen Gems needs a space. I 
think I think maybe the issue is that we need a an edge around here that looks a little like harder. Or maybe a shadow. Let's try a shadow first. It's still it looks weird right now. Like I don't I don't quite like it yet. Looks better. I'm still not happy with it. I feel like it's like... Look at some examples. I think it's just the border of the circle. Yeah, it's it's the sh it's the shape somehow the shape of uh, the what the X is on. I don't think the X itself is an issue. It's like it feels. Feels like it shouldn't be like this perfect circle, you know? Maybe like a square would be better. I don't know. I'll, I just want to look at some other like, settings menus. A rounded square? Yeah, actually, that might be it. Maybe a rounded square is better. Fuck. All these effects. I just made it on to begin with. Uh, That looks better already. I think it could be bigger. That looks pretty good. That definitely looks better. I think this shadow did some wonders though. Yeah, that this is looking much better already. The only issue I have right now is that um there's kind of like a weird dimensionality here. Like this whole thing should be shifted up or something. Let's try it. Wait, let me try something. Does this look good if it's like actually like off the edge? Oops. Oof. Oh, 
Almost. Fuck. Is this stroke? I feel like the stroke, um, instead of, um, we need to change how the color works. We should make a 100% opacity, but then change the color to be like something else. Like that. So it doesn't have weird blending effects. Like that. That looks better, right? Am I, am I tripping? Or is that better now? Maybe make it just a tiny bit bigger? <sighs> I feel like it looks weird. Is it possible to remove the top and right side so that only the bottom and left side have shadows? Um, I mean, yeah, we can do that. Like, we just turn off this, and then we change the uh, stro uh, shadow to be 45. weird. It almost wants to go like the opposite way. Nah, that also looks weird. Maybe we could. I think I am seeing what you're saying a little bit. The blends literally right into it. What do you like better? I, I don't feel like it's like enough of a distinction at the edge there when you do it like that. Mm -hmm. It's close. Do we have any UI menus with X's on it, dude? No X there. Well, 
What was that game someone was telling me about last night, dude? Is there like a P? Uh, uh, here we go. Here's an X. Just kind of like a red X, dude. There could be some merit for making the, the stroke edge like this white color. Could try that. Makes sense. I mean, maybe maybe we make it red. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I think a different red, though. We need a more, like, a less offensive red. darker. I do think that looks best. think about it on like the side it does look pretty good I don't want it to get too in the way but I almost think a little bigger could be better I don't think we need this outline anymore. Maybe like a... Um... Maybe to give it a little bit of like... Definition. But beyond that... Yeah, I think making it distinct from the rest of the UI actually makes it better and it really sticks out and it's more obvious and now it can kind of it doesn't it doesn't have to fit within the background anymore you know now it can just kind of stick anywhere yeah I mean I don't think anybody will look at this UI and be like that looks like shit right like mainly what you're going for with UI. <laughs> you don't want people to like look at something and just be like, that looks like shit. 
Yeah, it's not too out of, like, it doesn't look out crazy. Yeah, I think it, I think you were right. The, the darker actually does look better. I thought the lighter was going to look better, but now that I'm looking at both, the darker 100% looks better. Yeah, I wonder, I don't, I don't think we can go much darker, but I wonder what it would look like. Just because we know it looks better darker. Oh man, that almost looks better. Uh, I don't know. I think there is a very fine line and dark balance. I think we crossed it. I think that's a good color. I like that. Okay. I'm done. I'm done with the UI. Let's port it in. I have a little more time tonight. It'd be nice to port some of this in. What is... What is going on here? Wow. Now, now I'm curious. Does this work at all? The options menu. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, it would have to be way bigger. I just don't like this. It just doesn't fit. Try to put it like right in the corner, maybe, but. Nah, I, I really don't like it. So, but you know, it's just the options menu. Like you have to press escape to get to it. And so pressing escape to get out of this is like, dude. Yeah, so we'll have to reevaluate that one. I think it's, it's, it's much more natural though. Yeah, exactly to, uh, press escape to get out of this type of menu than the other one. The other one is more like of a full-fledged menu and you could end up in it and be like, wait, how do I get back to the game? Was it tab? Was it escape? Because you press, you don't press escape to get into this one and you can do a lot of shit and spend a lot of time here. So I think having the X here is actually potentially helpful and also looks pretty good. I think it looks good. Deleted the button entirely.
It's okay. We got the old one. Oh man, I've been there before though. I accidentally delete something and then like I press the wrong sequence of keys and I can't undo it or something. Okay, here we go. Jesus. Is there like a show only lock layers, dude? That would be a nice feature. Sure, it exists somehow. Show only locked. Here we go. Okay. Cool. You know, my favorite thing about Unity, quite possibly, is that it just fucking handles PSD files. It's such a fucking lifesaver, dude. summary menu is uh or is it what am i calling this whole menu player summary yeah i am okay this is player stats i don't know it's weird this is like i want to call this the player summary tab I don't know what to call this whole menu. Um, this is like, what is this type of menu called, man? Ah. Uh. Statistics. There's like more. It's like more than that. This has the inventory collection. Player details. Player info. Player info. That's good. Yeah, I like that.
Ooh. Flaring bow. This is like, um... Bow container. Posture check, dude. Hit me with a posture check, and I needed that one. Shit. All right. This is the next thing. Let's call this. Um... Better. I should have probably hydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate? True. Gotta hydrate at some point. Okay. Let's grab this guy. This is like more like menu general. I don't know. Let's actually, I'm just gonna throw it in here. It's gonna be less confusing that way. I should standardize actually the size of these. Let's make all these 50. Actually, what's like, um, I feel like icons you should make like a integer of two, right? 56. It's kind of nice. Or wait, wait, 56. That's not a it's not like a bit wise number. It'd have to be 64.
Okay. What else, what else, what else, what else? Like the trophy icon, but it looks not very round. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these are all temp, temp assets. Trophy is a little odd. I think the trophy is the worst one of the temp assets I have. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, the hardest part here is well, it's these tabs. I'm trying to decide. So if I make the tabs the same base canvas size. Then I make this one like go further down like this. Then they'll have the same center. That should work. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Might have to adjust these a little bit, but but I guess my idea is that I'm gonna save this one. Now what I'm going to do is delete, wait, actually before I delete, grab this one, and I'm going to line these up perfectly in here. These are different sizes, the fuck? What the fuck? No, 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 this is what I should just do this. What did I say? It fills 40, capacity's 50. No, 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 we didn't do that. We did color overlay. No, color overlay doesn't work because then it's going to be in front of it. You're 63? Damn, look at that shit. If you make it like a square shape, you can resize it to anything you want via 9 slice. That's true. Well, yeah, I can do that, but I'm just... I wanna... What I wanna make sure I do is... When we select the two, like, I don't have to change the position of them. That's what I'm trying to make sure happens. That makes sense. Why are these like different? Why is like the size of the border different? That's weird. Did I stretch one? I think I stretched these, that's why. Yeah, I definitely stretched these, okay. Well, then what I have to do is just Yeah. 
So we could do that. Now we can copy this. Hopefully this works. I mean, buy them as fast as fuck, boy. The board does look too similar. It's not giving off great contrast, in your opinion. Like, you think here? Like, when it's dark, you're saying? Or... Your collection and inventory. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, what is difference? Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. I missed that. Something got different. It is taller, right? Yeah, it's it's taller enough, I think. To be noticeable. Taller enough. Uh yeah, what happened to our border color? <laughs> this is the only thing is the color. So I guess it's just the stroke color is different. Oh, yeah. Be like that darker stroke color, color there, right? Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's good. Good call, good call. Okay. See, now basically this is what should happen when we toggle it on and off. Like, they'll appear in the exact same position, but one will be taller and overhang more. Ooh. Oh shit. No, but that doesn't account for... Because th that'll end up looking like this. Right? So stupid. There's definitely a better way to do this, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh shit, wait. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 15, 15, 15. Oh. Fuck. That's where we want it. Not down all the way down there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it should be 7 lower. This can't, this just can't work. Okay. Alright, alright. Collections <laughs> by one. Oh, dude, I got nothing done tonight. UI is tough, man. I always, I always overanalyze UI because I hate making bad UI and coming back to it. Like, you, you want to be one and done with your UI, UI you know? That's what, that's what happened for Gemini. Gemini can attest. One and done is the way. Because, like, once you're deep into a project, and you, if you have to adjust your UI, like, oh, damn, does that suck. That's like a project killer, dude. I, I honestly want to say that was one of the 
primary things that derailed me from Project Bonsai was like, I like kind of, like I, I didn't do the UI bad, it looked okay, but I definitely when I did the UI for that game, I was the whole time I was thinking this is like half-baked, like I'm just kind of getting it in place. But then it just like the game kept developing and developing and developing and then like everything kind of got locked in place and then at some point I was like I really need to change up my UI. <laughs> And it was just terrible. Okay. Anything else in Photoshop that we need to port over? I think we're good. I'm not going to port these over right now. I'm, I'm trying to not have to change any UI, dude. That's my goal. Okay, so let's make, um, wow, whole new, whole new world here, here we fucking go. This is going to be a gnarly menu to make. Don't know how UI works. In in Unity or in different software? Which one are you? What are you using again? In anything? Oh. Okay. Unity. Well, I mean, this is UI Toolkit. I don't know if I would recommend using UI Toolkit. It is. It has a very clean interface, that's for sure. You're cheating on me, Brutus. Oh my god, with who? Just a fling? <laughs> okay, but I need to know who. I don't have UI Toolkit? What, oh, what Unity version are you running on? You mean if you go up to a window? I, it is base Unity. You don't have UI Toolkit here? I think Unity comes installed with it now. Style Sheet Exporter. Um, anyways, this is the menu layer info. our menu okay so menu player info this is gonna okay, so this is gonna be this Oh, hold on. We need to do something real quick. We need to come into our dude. I'm I'm about to look. I'm looking this up. What do we need to do? We need to do something for our Photoshop files every time, and it's really annoying. I'd rather not. Yeah, we always need to make them a sprite, I'm pretty sure. Change default import 
Does that work? 2021? Maybe. It's probably in there? I don't know, man. It's pretty new, UI Toolkit. Dude, honestly, just don't even, don't bother, man. Just use, just use normal UI. PSD importer. You don't know how to use the base UI either. Um, well, I mean, you can check. You can check next time you open up your. Oh, I, you haven't downloaded Unity yet. I mean, dude, yeah. I would just use the normal UI, honestly. If you want to use, if you really want to use UI Toolkit, I feel like you should upgrade to the most recent Unity version because, like, it was in, like, alpha. Dude, they're, they're, <laughs> you're in Shiftus Alpha 0 0.1, they're in fucking UI Toolkit Alpha 0 0.1 back in 2021. This shit is just barely passable now. All right, we're breaking out the chat GPT. <laughs> um, can I change the default report settings? Oh, in Unity, report activates sprite. I don't know, dude. I guess not. It's fucking annoying, dude. It's annoying because it, if you don't do it like this, then it doesn't show the actual native resolution, so I kind of have to do that to get it. 1461 by 763. size he is actually dude I'm pretty sure we should not do it like this make this the container And then put that there. This is gonna we're gonna take this away. We're gonna make this auto. And grow. Oh wait, no, 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 not not grow. And then take this away. And then we're gonna put that escape sign down below here in the container. But then 
everything menu-wise will go inside of this. This is going to be nested as fuck. That sort of size looks awfully decent. Well, it should be the exact same size as this, so... Hopefully. Um, but yeah, we actually have not added these yet, so... Be interesting to see how that happens. Oh god. Play menu, player info. So we're gonna have... This is just... I almost think I should make this its own elements completely. Because it's gonna get so complicated. Well, at least... At least we should do that for the settings menu, because the settings menu will appear in multiple areas in the game. Last time I upgraded ship broke? Yeah, uh, that, that does suck. Yeah, I've been there before, it's like you just can't fucking upgrade for some reason. I hate that shit. Okay, so these are tab container. It's gonna get gnarly, dude. This is going to be like a button, right? Or is it going to be a toggle? Oh god, it's going to be like a toggle group. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare to make, man. I think we basically have to make it a radio button group. But it's going to require like a ton of custom styling if we do that. Well, so basically the right that a normal button isn't gonna work because a normal button can just be pressed. It can't be toggled. But also a toggle button group or like just a toggle won't work because what you want is when you click it, you want that one to get selected and all the other ones to get deselected. So just toggling each one individually doesn't work yet either. So then what you call this is a toggle button group, or how they've defined it, a radio button group. So a radio button group defines a group of buttons, a group of toggles, and only one can be selected at a time. So then if you select one, it deselects all the other ones automatically. So, yeah, ideally we just do this kind of a deal. Right. Is that like a layout direction?
fix a bug and playing whack-a-mole. Yeah, that's never good. You never want to be in that position. <laughs> uh, this would be so much easier in the base UI. I hate that I'm doing this like this. I'm gonna make a new USS and call it Let's call it custom. No, I don't. Video button read menu tabs. That'll be a good one. What I'm hoping to do is like save all these um, selectors for uh, future projects. And I can just bring in these, um, oh sorry, style sheets. And I can just bring in these style sheets and like have custom ones that I just add. But the initial ramp up time on like doing each one individually sucks. Dude, I feel like you're tweaking on that code sometimes, man. Did you ever figure out the AI shit, or did you just kind of, like, give up on that? This is gonna be a this is gonna be a time, you guys. I've never done this before. I want to know if this selector does that control the uh, the way these are laid out? No. Ah, what controls how these are laid out? That's pretty good. Why, what is this guy doing up here? Video button group? Why is, uh... I don't know what this one is. What the fuck? Wait, what is that? I'm deleting that shit. weird okay right so now like if we're in here previewing we select one and deselects the other one
found a bunch of bugs. Well, at least I found them. It's a good thing. So, we don't need to name this anything. Oh god, wait, what? What did that just do? Well, why does that exist? Where does that one come from? Oh, there's two now. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. Okay, anyway, so this... Radio button... This does not control it. What controls their layout direction, dude? This visual unity base. Uh, unity radio button group container. That's probably what it is. So now if we change this one, does it do it? Yes! Okay, we found it. What is, it's a bit annoying though, is that like the label and the visual element that's like controlling this. They're obviously um, grouped in a way that they're aligned relative, not absolute. So, okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to change the radio button. I want to have access to changing the radio button. So, oh, shit. I don't know what this one's doing here, dude. So, the radio button is... Posture check again. Fuck me. I'm about to go to bed, dude. I don't know why it's giving me this one right here. That's really annoying. Uh, anyways. We're trying to change this label. Unity radio button label. Okay. So the, also the thing though is when we have one of these, we have to um, rename it with a parent name. So we'll call this menu tab. Menu tab dot. Oh, whoops. Menu tab. Menu. Dot menu tab. Okay. Yeah, but then we have to um have to drag this onto here. There we go. Okay, so that works.
Right, so then we have this guy over here, which is the label. Unity radio button label. Unity radio button. And what I'm confused about is if we add where do we where do we even add that? to this so okay what if it change if we change the size now oh that works hey Sader has anyone ever redeemed the end stream nope no one's done it yet Still has never happened. Dude, what? Why is this one here? What the fuck is going on with this guy? Can I not delete all of these? Is this one and why is it here? I am a little confused. Unity radio button in puppets. Dude, this is so painful, man. It's this thing. So there is a way. Can I fully unpack this? Create template. Uh, I don't think creating a template works. Which I'm gonna try it though. Yeah, 
yeah, we're just back to the same problem. This is why you don't use UI Builder, dude. Why am I so persistent like this, trying to use it? Break the chill beats. Dude, yeah, I've just been on a lo-fi grind recently. Oh, dude, like, what the fuck? Now I can't... Like, what is happening with this radio group? It's so weird. Like, it doesn't have one right now. It's pretty fucking strange. Lo-fi does go hard, dude. Oh, wait, what the? Oh, that's what's happening? Wait, what? Why, why did I just add one? That's so weird. That's, like, when I do this by default, it doesn't add anything. I don't know, dude. I think I'm almost just better off making buttons and then just making all this shit myself. <laughs> Instead of trying to use their built-in solution. Shit is just not good, man. Radio button. Yeah, all the way down to the Unity check mark. And to change Unity video button. What's a game I did this for? I, I did toggle buttons in Unity. Yeah, see, and now now it has this shit here again. Like, what the fuck? I think there's just like a bug. I think there's just a straight up bug in this shit. Like, why did it just suddenly I decide like, oh, we're gonna add that. This is so dumb. I'm just gonna make buttons. And make them my own toggles. Well, okay. You know what we can do first? Is we can just work on a toggle. Because it uses the same shit. Okay, what is the game that I did this in before? Space game. I don't remember.
It might be on my laptop, dude. Might be on a little laptop project I did. I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, well, UI toolkit fucking sucks balls, dude. Pretty sure it has bugs. I don't trust it. Fuck. Laptop's about to go to sleep. Awesome. So, we can do this, we can click this, and then be like, you know, change the background to something else. Make it our tab. Um, but yeah, that didn't do shit. We want to make the size 346 by 130. Okay, so then now we can see that, oh. We want to turn that off. We want to turn the border off. Wow, we're actually fucking doing something now. <sighs> what? Top 100? Let's go. Dude, I know, I need to make it in there, you guys. How do I make it up to the top 100? What the fuck? I just want to bail on UI Toolkit, dude. In too deep. Okay, preview. So now if we check it, we have the little fucking thing there. That is on this Unity check mark, so it's something about the Unity check mark that actually controls this. Unity radio button check mark. So not the one with the background, but just Unity radio button. See, what would be nice is if I just had this, if I had this fucking style sheet just ready to go, and I just import it, then I know all the things that I need to adjust, you know. So then it wouldn't be that bad, but it's figuring out what are the right selectors for all these built-in things that is just a pain. Unity's done a really bad job of exposing them. Okay, let's see if we change this. Does that change the background image? Tab 346 by 130 is also the same size. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the color, like the background is not right. I don't want a background color. That looks correct. Kind of. just that it's not actually this doesn't go away though this is what I don't really remember I'm 
Mr. Mick. I am live. I'm about to not be live, though. What's up, dude? How's life? How's it going, dude? Okay, checking out my side project here on my laptop. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, Unity toggle check mark. Oh, no, that's on hover. No, I did this though. I have it up over here on here. Oh, what's Mikey saying? And decent brother. It's pretty pumped to tell you something about getting this in stream. Well, what are you pumped to tell me, dude? Let's hear it. Also, everyone seems to be wood one. <laughs> That's just, that's just the rank, dude. You're just, everyone's wood one. Did you feel at home from all the transit around? It's funny how those things affect you. Unless this is, is the native? Is that just a native toggle? Fuck me. It is. Yeah. Shit. That is the native toggle. Cool. Well, I actually didn't do anything. Cool. It's just great. Dude, where is this UI coming from? That's my question. Oh. <laughs> I didn't actually, I used the other UI. Interesting. Why did I do that? Dude, I thought this was my fucking test project for this. Guess not. Well, it's probably somewhere on my computer. On here. Where I actually did this. But I don't remember now. That kind of sucks. I was doing a bunch of custom ass shit in Flash FPS. Maybe we should look at this one. But yeah, I guess the issue right now is that if I... If I turn this on and off, it like gets rid of it. But it doesn't get rid of the uh, background, though. That kind of sucks. Maybe time to archive some projects. Dude, I actually did. I archived a few the other day. I should just say I just deleted some that are pointless. Have I ever played D&D? I actually have not. I've done like kind of role playing shit like D&D, but like not like actually played D&D. I've been taking a computer science course. Once I finish this course in like 10 weeks or so, I'm going to make a game. 
think I'm going to take a game dev course. I think it's my passion. Dude, what? Are you serious? Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking sick. Wait, that's insane, Mikey. You're for real? Absolutely serious? God damn, bro. That's sick. Well, you know I'm here for you, bro. I can offer up all the advice that you want me to offer up. Do I like Star Wars? Yeah, overall. Yeah, see, you know, I don't know if I have... Oh shit, I didn't want to open that. I haven't opened Visual Studio all night. Oh fuck, man, it's almost 1am, I gotta go to bed. Tonight's been a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But before the stream, I did make some good progress on the, uh, the video. So, there's that at least. Let's see, did I do... I did all this color pop-up shit. That's what I did in this one. The color pop-up is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Yeah, there's no, like, checkboxes here, dude. Ugh. Wow, look at this fucking beast. This will be nice to use this color pop-up, though. I'm definitely gonna use this shit in my current projects. But yeah, I didn't do the toggle. Okay, we just gotta figure it out, man. It's just some weird fucking thing. I don't... Ugh. This is so frustrating. When When did I do this? Multiplayer Pong? Did I do any, like, check... Oh, it might be actually Multiplayer Pong. Let's check this one out. Gutted, I miss watching, but watching now? Ian Bradley, what's up, dude? How's your night going? Yeah, unfortunately, I am going to be going offline pretty soon. What's up, when, uh, how'd you find the stream? Got a, we got a fellow YouTuber, finally. I'm streaming on Twitch as well, just so you know. Making a game right now. In fucking scratch for homework. Starts very basic. Well, that's how you guys start. I miss Mikey's revelation. He, he's he was trying to do game dev now, and he sounds dead serious. Like that's just what he wants to do. Well, Mikey, the the most important thing you can do once once you've gotten you know you're you've done your course or whatever and you're done, the most important thing you can do is just make an entire game. Like, come up with a very low scope, simple project, but do everything. Like, go through the whole publishing process with it. Because once you do that once, you will have learned 10 times more than any other unfinished project you've ever done. So, that is my biggest piece of advice to anybody looking to get into game dev, is finish a project. And like, I'm not talking about, like, go fucking ham for six months on some stupid-ass project. Like, I'm talking, like, just what I did here on itch.io. Like, when we made Bro Block the other day. Just make a game like this, dude. You can be dog shit. 
But as long as you make a full game loop, you make like persistent data, you understand how to publish it, you understand how to do music, sound design, how to do all the menu control, how to switch scenes, how to do persistent data, how to make levels, how to do all the art. Like, there's... It seems really simple, but it's not. But once you go through it once, it becomes fucking ten times easier to do it again. <sighs> Let's see... This is multiplayer pong, huh? Is this even a work? Oh, this was a netcode for game objects. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I didn't do it in here. Scenes. Bro. Satch. It's, it's a particular thing that I just can't remember how to do. It's like sprite swapping. Did I ever do it in... No, I didn't do a Project Bonsai. Fast reload, shield bubble, auto script reload. I don't think any of these, dude. And it's, that, that project's gone. We're just going to figure it out again, I guess. Fuck me. So we can toggle this, but what we need to do is we need to, like, we actually need to, like, swap the sprite, almost. Just swap the sprites? I know, like, that's what I want to do, but, like, I don't understand. It's really annoying, man. I think it's like, um, checked. Hold on. It's, they make it so hard, man. Check mark background. Radio button check mark. So this is like as if it was. Let's just go look at the uh, pseudo classes. Hover, active, inactive, selected, checked. I think this is what we need checked. So let's copy this. And let's do a um, check. It's not doing anything. This one checked. Uh. 
is so annoying, man. I have one editing client right now. I got everyone giving jobs to Collins. I'm not wanting to be a freelance editor for the rest of my life. I was. Well, he needs them, dude. He really needs them. I don't know. He's been having trouble getting any. Last time I talked to him, he didn't have any, but. He told me that you he, you you tried to like hook up with somebody, but they like just like aren't responding to him. Slowly learning, so they're actually terrible because in the game dev space, but kind of bypassing actually learning. Yeah, that's actually true. I mean, tutorials are fine as long as you like you're not like you just don't want to um just like copy paste. But if, if you use tutorials to actually, like, learn, or learn new techniques and methods, they, that's one thing. Happen? Yeah, it just doesn't- you have to learn yourself, man. It takes fucking years. Gave him nearly 2k worth of videos yesterday. He's busy for now. All right, there you go, dude. I know that's what he wanted. He just wanted hella bit, hella clients. ChatGPT. Well, we'll find help me here. How to swap sprites on a video button. Yeah. Ah, this is so fucking annoying, dude. I need to go to bed, and I'm not gonna figure this out. It's gotta be like. It has to be the check mark, dude. But I thought the check mark checked would be it. You know, that's what's confusing me. Selected. It is selected, right? Mm -hmm. Selected. Or is it active? It's either selected or active. Or it could be, I guess. I don't know. But I'm just trying to make like the background like obviously black. So that we'll be able to tell. So like obviously that didn't work. Other one was uh active. God. Active. Shit, man. Suppose it could be this with a uh, pseudo class. Ah. 
All right, let's check find. What am I, tr what am I trying to do? I'm just like, basically like I'm using this radio button for Unity, right? It's like a toggle essentially, and you can toggle it on and off. And I can get the, the thing to toggle, like the custom UI, like I can show and hide a value. But I, what I want to do is I want to sprite swap. So I don't want to like show the value, show the texture and then hide the texture. I want to show one texture and then hide the other texture. Or sorry, show, show one texture and then show a different texture once it's deselected. Um, approaches to use the 2D animation packages sprite swap feature. No, this isn't... It's not what I asked. Uh, I've been here before. <laughs> here we go. Add that selector, drag and drop to all your radio buttons. Change them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Unity radio button, check mark background. Checkmark inner dot image. Just create another selector called my radio button. Unity radio button checkmark. We have both of those. Unity radio button checkmark background and Unity radio button checkmark. It's both of these two things. So I I don't know if there's a solution for this to be honest with you guys. It's really fucking stupid. What a nightmare, man. Oh, for toggles, the two classes you need to create are these. Oh, no, it's the same thing, though. Active patterns when the mouse is held down. Oh, okay, so that's when I, I click a button. It's almost like we have to do it like totally custom, man. I 
I don't know. This is a tomorrow problem. UI Toolkit continues to just piss me off endlessly. I think I could just make one in C sharp really, really easily though. That's like I like working in the inspector though, man. It's kind of annoying. Oh, Binio, what's up? What are you working on? I'm working on a new game called Zen Fisher. Ooh, we should get a command in the chat. That one. But I've been working on UI tonight, so I'm trying to implement this UI into the game that I mocked up in Photoshop. But yeah, we're working on like a little fishing game. And I'm trying out Unity's UI toolkit. That's what I'm using. I shouldn't say trying it out. I've been trying it out for a while, and it's just really frustrating to use. And it's kind of bothering me. Use two textures. Yeah, well, no one responded to this guy. Cool. I wonder if there's something on GitHub. Top tier command, dude. Look at that command. Need some commands. Wow. Well. This is a very sad day. got pretty much nothing done and I don't have a good direction for where to go with this whole hoggle business man the only way I can think of doing this is just totally custom shit in UI toolkit but then it's really annoying because then I don't know how I'm gonna like specify the textures like, I would have to do the textures also in C-sharp, unless there's a way to, like, connect the textures in. I think you can actually, you can define an attribute. Or I might try this real quick. Let's, let's try making, like, a custom... Let's get rid of our radio button let's make a toggle 
and then let's create a template out of it. Text and toggle. Isolation. Let's go find our custom toggle. Uh, menu tab we can delete. Custom toggle. Generate CSS. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, my question is can you serialize? up here and then have it show up. Let's call it int. So yeah, if you do this, what happens? I know there's a way to do this. Is these is these things attributes? Oh, uh, what did find tell us earlier when I typed this in? Customize the checkmark texture on a radio button.
Fuck, man. Really? It doesn't let you import one into itself? Yeah, it doesn't even have it in here. Well, I should probably go to bed. What a letdown. So you can do this, it's just really annoying. Dude, I gotta get up. Fuck, man. I hate when I go to bed on, like, just... Just getting fucked. I'd be so much further along in this project if I wasn't using UI Builder, man.
Oh, is that an idea for an insane factions game? Nice. Interestingly, I always wake up with the answer. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit motivating. This is so cool. Like, look at all that you can do with it if you're smart, unlike me. <laughs> you get all, all this custom shit. Create a tabbed menu? Don't know what this is gonna actually make. The fuck is a tab? Wait, what? What am I looking at? Wait, what are these custom controls? What the fuck? Tab button? Where, where did these come from? What, they're not in the standard, but they're in the project? Wait. Bro, what? This is what we need. I hope. Well, I hope, dude. I don't... <laughs> I am cautiously optimistic that this will fix our problem. That's crazy. So, I guess... I guess these are custom controls that are made by Unity. 
I don't know where these are. But they're in my project view, not in the standard view. Tabbed view. Like, where does this appear? Tabbed view. For some reason, it's inside of shader graph. Interesting. It looks like it's just, it's like an element that, that was made for shader graph, but they made it within UXML. The new UI builder. It's pretty weird. Well, I'm learning things, but man, man, is this shit rough. If I'm gonna really commit to UI Builder, like I'm gonna have to learn how to create my own custom things. I'm pretty deep into UI Builder, like I feel like I gotta commit. But man, would I be so much further along if I wasn't using it. Crazy. We could always use a combination of the two. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing before I go to bed, which I shouldn't be doing, but I am, which is I'm gonna look at these tabs. So we have QE tab. Let's call this custom tab. Checked, tab, and unchecked. See, I like this. I like this. So now that's the background though, so we don't want that. I think it's working. Um, just the only thing is, like, let's... I have to make this, like, a custom thing.
take this 346. Fuck. Why? Why? Oh, I'm so close to this shit. FCS, you're almost top 60, dude. I'm almost done with this shit. Oh, these tabs are so cool. Well, now I'm fucking annoyed. Why can I not add that to that? Oh. We're so close, dude. This 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 has to be it. I think it was a tab button. It was a uh, just a tab. Okay. So annoyingly, these are not applying in the ways that I feel like they normally do. Oh, I see what's happening. So when you click the other one, um, this actually swaps. You can see that the two selectors on it are QE tab and QE tab unchecked. Because it's not currently checked. But now if we go in and we touch this one, we check it. Now it's swapped to checked. So it is actually using these three. Right. <laughs> So, you know, we could just do this kind of shit. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to say for QE tab, for QE checked, we're going to give it the texture. Um, tab. Uh, 346 by 130, so we're going to make it that size. And then the unchecks is going to be 346 by 30 also, but we're going to make it the unchecked version. Okay, moment of truth. We have fucking tabs, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I can go to sleep now. Look at that shit. Beautiful. I have to take a fucking big deep breath after tonight, man. Drink water, thank you. Be right back to cool off the ends. This is make a two D version of Mario Kart practically right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> nice.
wow you guys i can't explain to you i i don't know how i came across this i suppose it's here in the uh documentation but it's funny right it's funny like it's totally hidden away but it is a part of native unity in shader graph there's this tabbed view <laughs> I'm pretty sure what happened is Unity made their own tabbed view solution in UI Toolkit and they've just integrated it into Shader Graph. But then if you go into that, that's why it doesn't appear in the standard containers and controls. It only appears in your project hierarchy under custom controls. So that number one, that's pretty funny to me. But number two, I have been searching for this like built-in solution for so long and I'm so happy that it exists because this this has always been the main limiter for me in terms of UI toolkit is quickly customizing um, toggles and now we have it so man that's fucking massive Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. But I gotta go to bed. Uh, Mikey says, I need self respect and attention. I need more screen buttons right now. I need more screen. It's so hard to make CP racers. <laughs> nice, dude. Mikey, we're gonna talk more. Alright, you guys. I'm out. Have a good rest of the day. Have a good rest of the night. I might stream Saturday night. I'm not streaming tomorrow night though, so I might see you guys Saturday night. If not, I'll see you Sunday night. Peace.